What's up, guys? I've seen a lot of people asking how to use DIM and D2 Armor Picker to do your triple and quad hundo builds and just builds you want to try, but you don't know if you have them in your inventory, which, surprisingly enough, I bet you probably do. If you're one of those grinders that has a bunch of crap in your vault and you don't want to masterwork it, but it looks good, I bet you anything, you probably have a lot of builds in there that you could probably use and don't even know you have them. So, first of all, log in to D2 Armor Picker. Eep, there we go. <laughs> and Destiny Item Manager, which all you're going to use is the same thing as like the Destiny app. Log in with your, with your regular Destiny stuff and it'll bring up all your vault stuff. Now, once you log in to D2 Armor Picker, pick whatever class you are. I'm a lock. Yes, I'm support. So let's say, here's all your stats. Let's say if I wanna go 100 resilience, because that's the meta, it's gonna show me on this side, all the builds I can do with 100 re resilience already. Say if I want recovery, right now it's showing I can't. So before I go on the stat stuff, let's go down. You can pick all your exotics and see if you have an exotic and you want to see if you can build one off of it. Let's just go... Hmm, let's go with Dawn. All right, so I got Dawn. There's all my Dawn builds with 100 Rezo. Now, you could do armor limitations, but I don't bother with it. Then these are the seasonal mods This on season 19 where it boosts um, the mobility and freaking resilience and everything. If you click on this, it'll take into consideration on this part. But then we got to the mods where you got, you know, powerful friends, mobility, radiant light strength, stuff like that. If you're going for strength or mobility build, especially for hunters. Now, here's what matters. The 3.0 classes. So let's say since I'm going solar, I'm going to go with discipline. I'm going to go with recov. And resilience, just to make it right there. And let's see, for shits and giggles, let's just do Ember of Beams too. Alright, so I got those 10, 10 plus, 10 plus, 10 plus, 10 plus. And if you notice, now the 100%, 100 freaking recovery is up, so I can click on that. Now, here's all my builds that I can do a, do a double hundo with. But if you notice, all right, my mobility is down to 30. Intellect's down to 80. Strength's down to 80. But my hundo for discipline is still up. Click on that. And it's going to show me what triple hundo builds I can do. Now, here comes the fun part. You just click on whatever you want. It's going to show you what armors you have in your inventory that you can use. If it's yellow, you already have it masterworked. If it's still white, you have not masterworked it. So right here, you can take into consideration what you need to actually masterwork. And it tells you right here how much more you need to masterwork it. So I need 16,000 glimmer, 25 shards, 3-3, three, three, and 1 golf ball to finish this build. Which ain't bad. So you can literally see how much of the resources you need to create this triple endo. And like I said, you can go through every class because I know, obviously, you know, you got the freaking Invis Hunters freaking killing you in PvP and every bubble tying on the man in Iron Banner. So pick your class, check it out. And then after you find your build, literally open loadout in DIM. It's going to transfer you back to DIM. Now, let me take this into consideration too. I primarily play on console. I'm doing this on PC. So obviously this loading to from PC to Destiny on PC is probably gonna be a lot faster than PC to console. So here you go. Your whole build that you just did is now right here. D2 Armor Picker loadout. You're gonna save it. And in your, in your if you go to the top, if 
if I can see it. You're going to see loadouts of them. Click on that. Here's your D2 armor picker. All you're going to do is apply. And I'm going to go over here and show you guys. Apply. And it's going to literally equip everything that that build was set up for. And that's it. That's all you need to work on. So, it's going to pick all the armors and any weapons you decide. Now, mods, it will not equip because it's just making the build through D2 Armor Picker. So, you're going to have to make that build to where you want it to be and then resave it on DIM, which I'll show you guys real quick. So, on DIM, if you go to inventory... Dun, 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 dun. all right so right here because i'm just going from the start of it click on on whatever class you want manage loadouts which it'll go to loadouts again here's your equipped loadout which right now it's showing the main the d2 armor picker loadout and anything i had on equipped beforehand because like I said, the D2 one did not show, I mean, did not equip the mods. So it just kept the mods from the previous class. So after you do all that, you go to your loadouts and you're going to see the equip tab. Save loadout. And now you have all your loadout. Now, whenever you're on a grind or want to change up, if you notice, D2 arm picker, solar buff. All my little randoms. Literally, I can come up. And you can do this on mobile. And same thing. It's easy on mobile. I recommend it. I can just be like, oh, look. I want my lols freaking quad hondo. And it'll change it up. Little by little. You'll see. Now it's taking its time. See? There we go. I just need to change a couple more things for my recap to go. still going still going and there's the quad hundo and tada that's it it's simple it's really simple it's convenient and when the api goes down the whole community gets really freaking sad because no i like being able to press a button and just go to a build hope you guys have a good day ggs